Hello, this is the first course of the Beta JS introduction. This is a new series introducing Beta JS. So first, what is Beta JS? This is a library to help you write better JavaScript. There is obviously a home page on a GitHub repository. So the home page is there. You got documentation all over on the various aspects of Beta JS. You got test running. You got everything you need. There is a repository as well with the wonderful logo there. It's all cool. It has been released under MIT license. It works in Node and in browser. In both environments, it's important. And after minification on JZip, it takes care. So how does it help me write better JavaScript? Because this is a question. How better JS help write better JavaScript? So first, with better JS, you specified how your code is intended to run. You do some kind of specification. You tell better JS how your code is supposed to run. Then you run with better JS during your test phase. And there, better JS will verify this specification. This way you find bugs. It finds a new kind of bugs, which is very interesting. So, this new kind of bugs is because better JS extends JavaScript in revolutionary ways. Thus, it supports features never seen before, such as private members for your class or strong typing. Thus, whole new class of bug can be found. Very important. How does it look in practice? So, let's try. First, we have a basic add function. We take this function, very simple. We have an app here, we pass this function. This is a normal add function. You got to add the number on your return, the addition of the two, simple. Now, we're going to do the better JS specification. We will say better JS that this is a function, that the arguments that which are received are two numbers, number one or number two, on this return one number, the addition of number one and number two. This is important, we just did a better JS specification. Let's not forget to include better JS itself, something like that. Hop, we have done our better JS specification, pretty nice. Now, let's see what's happened when we do stuff like that. We come here, we display the result. Console log 3 plus 2 is equal to add 3 plus 2. Very simple. Rerun the little application. 3 plus 2 equals 5. So add is working as expected. Now, what happens if I misuse the function? Something 2 here will be used inside of a number. Better GS will catch it. Let's look. Let's save go. Then we run. A big, huge error has been detected. You discover a whole tag of bug. You discover strong typing bug. This is one part of better GS. So it seems quite interesting, right? What's the content of this course? First, what better GS can do for you? Then we will see better GS installation in browser, better GS installation in Node. Then we will go more deeply in better GS for function, for property and class. I hope you enjoy it. See ya.